and welcome to part three, or part three, of the Making This Tuber Better Again series uh, of videos that I've been creating. So this is uh, part three, which means there are parts one and two that come before this video. So if you haven't seen them, then the links for those videos will be down in the description box below. So in part two, we spent some time getting the second valve working again. Um, and in this part, we're going to do two things. We are going to firstly clean the instrument, try to break through some of the dirt and grime that uh, have accumulated over the past 90 years. Uh, and then secondly, we're going to see if I can do anything to make the valves a little bit quieter. At the moment, it sounds like a, a, somebody dropping a box of crockery down a flight of stairs whenever you try and finger something. Um, once I've finished doing that, uh, we're going to return back to the seat here and we're going to give the instrument its first blow. Uh, we're going to see what it sounds like, we're going to put some sounds through it um, and so I hope you very much enjoy. Now that I've got those ados out of the way, let's have no more of them and get straight into it. The product that I'll be using to clean uh, the surface of this instrument is called a Brasso and the very first thing you have to do is shake it vigorously in the manner it's shown on screen. So once we've got our shaken up Brasso we're then going to put a little bit of it onto a shop towel like this which is basically a glorified paper, you know, kitchen paper towel or something, um, and we're going to then rub that onto the surface of the instrument. Now I'm wearing gloves because uh, a Brasso will leave a lingering smell onto your hand um, and is not particularly very pleasant. Now once we've rubbed it in thoroughly we then use, need to use a different cloth to rub and buff the surface so I prefer using something like a cotton tea towel uh, for this because it will get rid of the dried up Brasso and it'll give you a nice surface finish. As you can imagine, this uh, stage of the process was very tedious, so here's four different windows showing pretty much the same thing, just with different parts of the instrument being cleaned. As you can see, we are very close to being ready to give this a bit of a play. However, there's one last thing that I want to address before I consider this near enough as good enough, and that is the volume of the valves. See, if I was to try and record myself playing something now, all you would hear is clatter, 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 clatter. So, what I'm going to do is uh, take the old felts out and replace them with something new. What I could do for this is to order some replacement uh, felts from, a, from eBay or something like that, or I could go to, an inst uh, to a local craft shop and buy this. This is a square of felt, it cost $1.50. Um, and what I'm just simply going to do is cut some washers out of this. Now it's pretty thin, it's not particularly thick, it's not particularly spongy, so what I'm actually going to do is layer the felts, two of these, on top of each other, and hopefully that will be enough to, uh, to uh, reduce the volume that we get from these valves. If we look at the, the, say the third valve here, there are two felts that uh, are causing the sound. There is a felt on the bottom of the valve cap here, or the finger button here. That hits the top of this part of the valve cap whenever you push the valve down. And when you push the valve up, there is another felt 
on the top of the valve just in here, which hits the bottom of this valve cap. So we're going to take these off. <laughs> there we go, it comes off. And we can see on the third valve we've got this little green thing in here, this little light of mine. And we're going to take this felt here off as well and we're going to cut something to size. These are the old felts here. This is my pad of new felt. So what I'm going to do is cut out a strip that I can use for this and then cut it down to size. Snip. 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 And snip. Oh, we need a hole in the middle. Snip. Snip. Ta-da! I have uh, now two felts that I've made for the uh, top of the valve and two of the felts that I made for under the top valve cap. I'm very happy with how this instrument has turned out. There have been quite a few comments of people that are saying that I've destroyed it and that I've made a, an antique instrument nearly worthless and all the rest of it, but um, I'm personally quite happy with this. The instrument was going to get junked, it was described as being four parts and uh, was going to get thrown out, um, but I've now taken this instrument and got it to a condition where I can now happily play it. And I think that's, en that's endlessly better than the life that this was going to have uh, being chopped up or whatever was going to happen to it. Uh, anyway, it is probably now time for the part that most of you have probably been waiting for and hearing what this instrument sounds like. So I'm going to be doing a recording of the uh, tuba solo, solo pomposo, uh, and that's going to be released shortly. Uh, but I just want to play a little bit of an extract on this instrument so that you can get an idea of what it sounds like. And thanks very much for sticking with me throughout this journey. Thanks for watching.